this ayah is from, and it's, it's a very, very scary ayah. And it's an ayah which affirms our belief in Qadr. وَكُلَّ إِنسَانٍ أَلْزَمْنَاهُ طَائِرَهُ فِي عُنُقِهِ Every human being has their fate sealed upon their neck. And what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows that you will do, you will not go out from what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed for you and what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has written for you. You will not go out from Allah's knowledge. And Allah Azza wa Jal created a people for Jannah and created a people for the fire. But here, each person is responsible for their own deeds. And that's very important. It's very, very important. In Allah Azza wa Jal here, the meaning of Includes that you are the one who carries the weight of your own deeds Allah knows what you will do Before you were born Allah knows every single action that you will do And you cannot remove that fate that Allah has written from you You cannot take it from your neck Under any circumstances But Allah has bound it to you by giving you free We don't say free will, free will is the wrong word By giving you limited Free will or limited will. I don't like the word free will because free will indicates you can go against the qadr of Allah. You cannot. It's bound to your neck. But the meaning here is that you are responsible for your own actions. Allah has given you that responsibility. You make the choices. You choose guidance or misguidance. But know that your choices cannot be carried out without the will of Allah. So what does that leave you? Does it leave you in despair? It should leave you with two things. Number one, your desperate need of Allah. Allah has bound your fate to your neck. If you don't beg Allah Azza wa Jalla and ask Him for guidance, you will do the deeds that are suited to your choices. And you will have the fate that is suited to those choices. And it is bound to you. It will never ever be removed from you. So you beg Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for His guidance. And the second thing is you work hard. You work hard because that is what Allah has given you a choice to do. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not given you the ability to change the fate that is written on your neck. Allah hasn't given you the ability to take it and write it again. But Allah has given you the ability to work hard. And Allah said, Those who strive for us, here the word jihad is general, those who work hard, we will certainly guide them to the path to Jannah. The paths that lead to Allah's pleasure. So if a person and he wants to be from the people whose fate is good, very simple. Beg Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and work as hard as you can. And with that know that there is no guarantee. If Allah were to punish you and I, in this very moment, he would not be unjust. His punishment would be just and fair. So you only have Allah's ni'mah and Allah's fadl and Allah's ihsan. That is all you have. You don't have a choice. For, you don't have a hope for anything else. And your deeds will not save you. Whoever you are, whoever is watching, how much you pray, how much, you're, how much you fast, know that it will never be good enough. Rather, if Allah wanted to punish you despite that ibadah, it would be just. But you depend upon Allah's rahmah, Allah's ni'mah, Allah's fadl, Allah's ihsan. That Allah Azza wa Jal takes this any pathetic, any we brought pathetic, lowly, poor quality goods. Yet we ask Allah Azza wa Jal to, for this sadaqah upon us. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us for that those shortcomings and that poor, any poor quality of actions that we brought before him. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us and we ask Allah Azza wa Jal to guide us. This is the ayat from the ayat of that it leaves a person in fear, and it should. But the fear should not be a fear that stops you acting. If that fear says to you, say, there's no point in me doing anything, know that this is from the signs that the fate that is sealed upon your neck is evil. Because what's the situation of the people of the Akhirah? They rush to do the deeds of the people of Jannah. If you rush to do the deeds of the people of Jannah, Perhaps Allah has decreed for you to be from the people of Jannah. And if you refuse to do the deeds of the people of Jannah, perhaps Allah has decreed for you to not be from those people. 
So all you can do is to rush to do the deeds of the people of Jannah and to beg Allah Azza wa Jal for his mercy. In Yawm Al-Qiyamah, Allah Azza wa Jal will bring out a book, every single thing that this person has ever done will be written in it. 